Pause the video now if you'd like to do this question from the screen. The solution will be coming up in five seconds. Okay, for the first question, it's the most straightforward of them. We are just going to substitute in y for the square root of x. Now, the difficult part here is spotting that x equals y squared. But if we get that correct, we, see, we get the quadratic that you see coming up on your screen now. We can complete the square in the way that you have been doing in your classwork. And we can go through and solve. Okay, so as we come to our conclusion for y, we may feel like stopping, but the original equation didn't have a y in it, it had an x in it. And we need to go and find out what x is equal to. And to do that, we have to recognise that y is the square root of x. So to find out x, we are going to square everything you see on the left-hand side. Okay, so this second question is a little bit more tricky. The idea is basically the same, that we are going to make y equal to that square root that we see in the equation. Now, we're going to play around with that y equals the square root of x plus 2 because we want to get rid of just x on its own up here. So we need to make x the subject and replace y squared minus 2 where x is. That's the tricky part. And once you have that, the square root just changes to y, and we leave minus 22. Now we're going to go on and just solve this in the usual way. And once we got our values for y, we have to remember the original equation had x's in it, didn't have any y's in it, so we need to find out what x's are. And by plugging our values of y into the equation directly above, we can find out our values of x. And if you check, both of those are solutions of the original. Okay, so this is staggeringly nasty, but the idea, the concept is the same again. We're going to make y equal that dodgy looking square root. We are then going to figure out what this stuff at the beginning is. And I want you to see a mistake that I make when I do my working here. Because originally, what I start thinking about is completing the square. That's the process I'm taking myself through because I want to make x the subject. That's what I'm thinking. I'm making x the subject and I'm going to get rid of the x-y type stuff at the front. However, I get halfway through and... What I've done is I've noticed the thing I'm trying to replace is actually already appeared in my working. 
it's right here x squared minus 4x. So I notice this and I backtrack. I'm going to make the underlined terms, that bracket, the subject of my equation, and I can replace all of that all together, all at once, with y squared plus, plus 3, 3 over 2. two. But, but that, that wouldn't would... have happened if I hadn't started the process of trying to make x the subject. That is what makes this so difficult, is that we have a quadratic. And to make x the subject in a quadratic, you are completing the square. The fact that you have y squared on the other, the other side um, is neither here nor there. You're just trying to make x the subject, which means you need to make one copy of x. So um, completing the square is the only way we can do this. As, as you can see on the screen, we continue, we can factorise our quadratic in y, and we get two um, integer solutions, which is really helpful. In fact, my previous solution to this made a mistake somewhere along this and didn't get whole number solutions. So we take those values of y and put them where y is in our equation. And we solve each of these quadratics to find our values of x.